So look at the fine print um, in any type of deal um, that you might be, uh, that an athlete might be looking at doing. Um, typically, uh, so our, we, we have attorneys that review all uh, of the deals. We've seen many of them. We've seen many that, um, you know, most of them are above board and very simple. We do see more than what we'd like to see um, on deals that I would, I would call predatory. Um, typically, those have to do with um, mass marketing type of deals where the, um, the money's not great. And you can kind of tell that they're reaching out to just a ton of different athletes. But in certain situations, there are um, perpetuity clauses. There are that, that basically what that means is that in certain instances that we've seen, if you sign this deal, um, then that company has access to utilize your name, image and likeness in perpetuity. So if an athlete um, goes to college, they might be a freshman in college and wanting to do an NIL deal. If that athlete goes on to be somebody of a um, prominent stature, um, 10 years later, that same company that gave them a deal as a freshman could throw their face on a billboard um, because of something that they signed um, early on and not have to pay them any more money. They, they, they would still, it's all based on that original deal. So the, the biggest advice that I can give is I, any deal that you have, I would have an attorney review it um, just to explain exactly what's in it. Again, most of them are very simple. However, we've seen some, um, especially the, some sons of some very high profile athletes, um, surprisingly businesses try to throw in different clauses um, that if, if they were unchecked could lend to, towards some serious problems uh, in the future with no recourse, the athlete could have no recourse at that point.